So we're going to be creating our own robots.txt file. The robots.txt file will help us to uh, um, help search engines to identify which pages to ignore on your website and which pages to index. Uh, we're going to use this website here, mcnanaring.com. Uh, they have a free robots text generator. We're going to use their tool to do so. So let's have a look at some of the main options that we're, we can select from this tool. Uh, by default, let's ignore, let's, let's, let's refuse all robots. And we're, link, we're going to basically select the ones that we want. We're going to add a little crawl delay that just uh, puts a little delay request in between uh, requests to the server by the robot because sometimes it can get quite intensive um, on, on for server load. So you want to give your server a bit of a breathing space. And now if we're going to, if you've already created um, a sitemap like in our previous tutorial, then we just want to put a link to that here. And let's work through our main search robots now, uh, web, the search web crawlers. We definitely want Google. Let's just go through some of the main search engines we definitely want to, uh, to index our website. Uh, I'm going to put an ask as well in there. Demos, you definitely want Demos to come through. Alexa, and I would say they're the main ones, but it's really up to you. Uh, Google Image, we want all of these to come through. Uh, probably not. If you if you if you have a blog, then you know select the Yahoo blogs. Okay, so so now now we've come on to re restrict directories. This is a quite an important um, part of the robots that takes the part because most most modern websites will have a bunch of directories that um you know you won't want to get crawled uh cgi bin is usually most most websites have a cgi bin folder another one is includes so th this is where it will have uh, directories which store important files for the website but you don't want to be indexed by the uh, the, the the search web crawlers and you may have many other directories so it's really down to you to go through them and add them here so let's generate the robots.txt file and let's have a look what the robots.txt file looks like. So what we're saying is user agent Googlebot, we want to disallow the following folders by default. And we've added no folders below that, so therefore it's going to allow Googlebot full access. And the same for all the other user agents that we've just added. And then at the below the the user boss settings we can see we want all the following user agents or web crawlers to be disallowed so that's a star signifies all of them but as we can see that the ones uh, the user agents we've allowed they'll bypass that default and with the crawl delays in there and then we can see all the directories we've disallowed and the link to the sitemap so all that remains to be done now is to copy that robots.txt uh, file into a file called robots.txt file. So I recommend using uh, um, a simple editor like Notepad, copy and paste into there, and then save robots.txt bang. Okay, so you just created our first robots.txt file, and you can read some more of the notes on how to customize your robots.txt file. You might have uh, particular settings um, that you may want to uh, amend for yourself. But all that remains now is uploading that robots.txt file that we just saved up to your root folder of your website. So in most cases that would be your FTP site when you log in, usually either public underscore HTML or HEDOCS. Okay, that's it. So we've successfully created a robots.txt file and happy indexing to all the Google and other great uh, web callers out there.